welcome to my channel and if you're new here my name is Leah I have a wonderful husband two adorable children and I really enjoy shopping frugally finding new recipes and then sharing them on here with you so if any of that interests you stick around because this is Savvy Saute Today I decided to take $15 with me into a bargain grocery store that I have here locally to me and I wanted to see what I could get with my $15. So it was really fun looking around and seeing what kind of deals they had. Some things were obviously a much better deal than others. Some things would have been cheaper at Walmart and some things were out of date. So it was really important to make sure that I checked to see if everything that I was going to purchase would have been actually safe to eat. Keep in mind some expiration dates are just suggestions for best buy dates and it's not actually an issue of safety as much as quality. So if you are able to find some bread and it still looks good but it says that it's past date then it's probably okay to eat. Past date meat however I definitely would not risk it. Like this package of sausages would have been the better deal as far as size goes but it was past date, so I chose the smaller one for a dollar. I think this particular bag of strawberries is sold at Dollar Tree, but for 89 cents and part of my $15 spent wisely, I think this was a good choice. Stick around, I'm gonna show you a comparison with my local Walmart prices on comparable or exact items that I picked up here. And then you can decide if you think I did pretty good with my $15. So here's an overview of everything that I picked up today with my $15. Just the amount of meat that I picked up was really worth it. I live on the border of two other states, one of which charges tax on groceries. That is the case with this particular store. So 88 cents in tax still was not a big deal for as much savings as I did by going to that store. But if I take out that 88 cents, then I can also add in a can of jambalaya and still be under budget. First I have these Italian chicken sausage links and these were really great and an amazing deal, 69 cents for four links. You just cannot get even close to that price at the regular grocery stores. So I picked up one of those packages. Then I also got a package, 12 ounces of these little smoky sausages. And my son loves these as is. I will also wrap them in bacon, put some brown sugar on them and bake them. And they are a huge hit. Anytime we have a party, I have to make them. And this is a little under two pounds of boneless pork. And I like to put this in my slow cooker with some verde sauce or salsa and use it for tacos. This turkey sausage is fully cooked and I really enjoy this. And I, you just can't get any easier than this. Pop it in the microwave, serve it with breakfast. It's amazing. This bag of chicken is easily my favorite purchase from this entire haul. I got five pounds of breaded chicken breast for $5. No, seriously, it was so good. My husband and I agree it's probably the best breaded frozen chicken that we've ever purchased. It had the perfect balance of breading to chicken. And even though it wasn't fully cooked, it was still easy to make. You just put it on a baking sheet. I like to put it on the wrap and then a baking sheet and it allowed it to get more crispy on both sides. And you have to make sure it is cooked all the way through. It is raw, so it's going to take longer than a regular bag of Tyson chicken strips. And the pasta was not the best price that I've ever gotten on pasta. In one of my previous hauls, I showed it where I got it for 49 cents a pound, but that was still a good deal. And then the tortillas, amazing, 50 cents for a 10 count, I had to pick up three packs. They were just too good to pass up. I use those for breakfast burritos, tacos, we'll use quesadillas, I mean, even desserts. The options are endless with tortillas. We always have them on hand and they freeze amazing. So when you see a good deal on tortillas, go ahead and stock up, stick them in your freezer. And they'll last forever. Mm -hmm. 
So like I said earlier, I'm pretty sure that these strawberries are sold at Dollar Tree. So not a killer deal, 89 cents instead of a dollar, but still I think it was worth putting onto my grocery haul. And if you include that can of jambalaya, definitely under the $15 budget, I think I put on the screen earlier, it was $14.93 for all of this plus the jambalaya. So I think it was an amazing challenge. I walked out of there feeling very proud of myself. So here on the screen, I'm going to show you a comparison from Walmart, exactly how much I would have spent if I would have gotten these items or comparable items with this quantity. So here you see my total at Walmart would have been about $43, $44 total. But once you take the tax out of my grocery haul here and then add in the 79 cents for the can of jambalaya, my total there was $14.93. So you're talking about $28 worth of savings. An important thing to consider when bargain shopping, I feel like whether it's with groceries or clothing, anything, is yes, it may be a good deal, but is it worth it in my life? Do I have a plan for it? So here I'm gonna show you how I'm using some of these items. First, I'm going to do the jambalaya and I'm going to incorporate that chicken sausage. My husband really enjoys more casserole type dishes like this. Rice is one of his favorite fillers and I will just go ahead and serve this into four different lunch boxes for him to take to work throughout the week. I have actually purchased this same brand can Creole type thing, but usually ours that we get is the jambalaya. jambalaya. This next meal, my husband took the lead on and sometimes fun food, as I call it, just really hits the spot. With the boneless pork, I decided to use it for tacos, which is just my go-to in general when I buy it. And I decided to make my own verde sauce. Sometimes I will buy it in a can or a jar, but I found this one can for 99 cents a couple weeks ago on clearance. And then I'm mixing that with part of an onion into my blender and making my own tomatillo sauce or salsa verde. So I put the meat down in my slow cooker. Well, this is an instant pot, but I'm using it on the slow cooker function and pouring over all of the verde sauce that I just made. And I cooked this on low for about five hours. To go with the meat on the tacos, I also wanted to use some pinto beans that I had already cooked in my pressure cooker a few days ago. So I put those down into my blender with some of the liquid, let that go for just a little bit until it was kind of smooth, and then I put that into a saucepan on my stove, added some more of the whole beans back to it, and then I put some taco seasoning in there. Once the meat was completely cooked and tender, I chopped that up, made sure I took out any extra pieces of fat, and then I went ahead and seasoned it with some more taco seasoning, and then I also put back into the bowl some of that salsa verde from the slow cooker. So it was a nice, flavorful, saucy pork to go on our tacos. With macaroni or pasta in general, the options are endless. I'm sure you don't need me to show you really any ideas on how to use pasta, but here I was just boiling half of the macaroni. And then from my fridge, I already had a jar of my homemade meat sauce. So I heated that up real quick. This meal could not get any easier. I just topped the meat sauce on the cooked macaroni, added some vegetables from the freezer. Everybody got to use some sprinkle cheese and it was so easy. We even had leftovers for Dakota to take to work. This next meal idea using the chicken is actually a breakfast. 
and I'm cooking the chicken on the cooling rack, like I said earlier, with foil underneath to protect my baking sheet. And I'm making my homemade biscuits. I will leave the video of my recipe linked down below where I'm showing you how to make layered biscuits. It is the easiest biscuit recipe I have ever used and I've actually had several of you reaching out to me saying that it was a huge success in your home as well. With the chicken and biscuits, I'm just putting together a quick gravy and since I'm already having the meat as the chicken, I'm not using any kind of sausage. I have chilled bacon grease in my fridge at all times, so I just pulled some of that out, heated it up, and added the flour, salt, and pepper. If you want to see the video where I make my sausage gravy, that is in the same video as the biscuits that I have linked down below. But this is just going to be a smooth, flavorful gravy to go on top of our chicken, so no meat added. So here's where things get a little creative. Once everything was baked, I went ahead and added a fried egg on top with some salt and pepper, and then we poured on the gravy, and this is what my husband and I call Cowboy Benedict. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that it was as fun for you as it was for me. And let me know in the comments what kind of deals are you finding in your area and what kind of things would you have maybe done differently with the things that I was able to pick up today. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel, become part of the Savvy family, tell your friends about this, and help us reach our 1,000 subscriber goal. And until then, I will see you in the next video.